Hi, my name is Bart Van Royen, and I am the Catholic Bishop of the Diocese of Cornerbrook and Labrador. Thank you for uh, taking the time for this second look at uh, the Mass. This week we celebrate uh, the Feast of uh, Jesus as Good Shepherd, and I think it's a wonderful uh, opportunity uh, to talk about the priesthood. Uh, last time I talked a little bit about uh, Jesus being present in the Word as much as he is present in the Eucharist, but he's also present uh, among us and within us through the uh, ordained priesthood, but also the priesthood of the faithful. Because uh, as uh, faithful, you too share in the priesthood of Christ through baptism. You were baptized as priest, prophet, and king. Now, your priesthood is different from the ministerial priesthood insofar as the ordained priest is there to uh, act uh, in the person of Christ in uh, conferring the sacraments. And so um, uh, the, uh, the ordained priest has a specific ministry within the church. The uh, priesthood of the faithful is much more in the world. You too are to act in the person of Christ. And uh, uh, this is, is often something that is uh, not emphasized enough. Uh, your priesthood is mainly in the world, even though, of course, you also uh, are Christ to one another in your interactions with them. Just as the priest is one who uh, welcomes people into the community through baptism, so you in the world welcome people into your house, into your relationships, and into your daily dealings uh, in business and uh, in various other ways. Uh, that indeed uh, you welcome them into, you might say, your uh, life with Christ. And by doing so, in a sense, begin the very process of uh, a possible initiation that is formalized within the church. You too, in a sense, uh, bring Christ's uh, bread to the world through your service, uh, through your charity, through uh, looking after the needy. And that uh, just as the priest in the church uh, uh, is the one who uh, uh, con con confects the, 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 the very bread of life, the very uh, cup of salvation that gives life uh, to the Christian community, uh, so you too, in a sense, by your daily sharing uh, in your lives with others, um, uh, in a sense, bring food and hope to the world. As the priest celebrates the sacrament of confirmation, uh, so, in a sense, you too, uh, in the world, have a parallel ministry as you bring your faith, your hope, and your love to them, the very working of the Spirit that is evident in your life. As the priest is called to forgive uh, for, uh, sins in the name of Christ, so you too are called to forgive others and bring the possibility of new beginnings uh, to others, the hope that indeed uh, they are not prejudged or uh, packaged and uh, can never, in a sense, change. In a sense, as the faithful, you are called uh, to bring uh, this opportunity for new life uh, from from sin to uh, um, uh, to 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 new life in Christ to those you meet, and just as the priest brings healing through the sacrament of uh, the sick, so you too are called to visit the sick. You're called to listen to those who uh, may indeed be dealing with um, with problems, with troubles uh, that uh, may bring uh, you might say a certain kind of sickness, uh, an, an, an ill being in, in, their, in their lives, can we say? In a sense, by listening to them, by being attentive to them, you too are ministering Christ in the world. And so, as the priest uh, is, uh, acts in persona Christi in the midst of the assembly and uh, confers the sacraments and celebrates the sacraments with the people, uh, 
so you too bring Christ from the assembly into the world and uh, exercise uh, Christ's priesthood. He is the one eternal priesthood. It is from him that each one of us draws, each in his uh, particular way, uh, in order to uh, bring healing to the church, to uh, the assembly, as well as to bring healing to the world. That is, you know, at the end of Mass, we say, you know, the Mass is ended. Go and, uh, you know, be Christ's life to the world. In a sense, the Mass only begins as we are sent forth uh, to do the very ministry of Christ uh, in our individual uh, places of, uh, of work. May God bless you, and I hope that uh, you will join me again next week. Thank you.